Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm Rafi Asin. Welcome to my channel. And in the previous video, we have set up this connection string section. And in this video, we are going to create our models. So let's get started. After a long journey, we have set up uh, our project layers, uh, connection string, and all the default things we have already set up. Now it's time to create our models, which will be. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure you are familiar you're familiar with the models because we are you are creating an e-commerce web application with with me if you're not uh, sure again I, I, I'm, I'm going uh, I'm telling you that I have already uploaded seven hours of complete ASP.NET MVC course and in, in that course I have covered everything about models views and controllers so if you if you are new to my channel and if you are new to MVC you should watch that course and by the way, we're developing e-commerce web application. So uh, let's get started. We will create our model. So connection string is ready. So we will go to this core project inside this model folder. First of all, I am going to add a new class and it will be our uh, like we're going, going to create e-commerce web application. Obviously, it has categories, subcategories, brands products and things so first of all i will i'm going to create a model called category and i will add this category model and i will set this class as a public and i'm going to set some properties prop int and these properties will will represent uh, columns in our database sql server database category table okay so it will have id and I'm not going to explain what does this ID means. Basically, uh, by convention, it will be a primary key of our, our table. Automatically, entity framework will identify it like it's a convention based and uh, I don't need to worry about that again and again. OK, so we have ID and then we have category name. And then we have a Boolean property is deleted to make sure whether this category is deleted or not deleted we will not be actually deleting the category from our database instead we will mark this any category whatever user will, will click on delete we will mark this category uh, as deleted value true and it will be hidden on the user interface of whatever user is using the application and we later on we can design some kind of mechanism that we still have access of our deleted categories this is very common technique used in web applications so after that we have another property prop string created by and we have prop date time created date and we have prop date time last modified okay so this is our category table or category model and these are all the columns of our table okay so this is basic table we will cut some fields from this table uh, and we will make some like base kind of entities in the next video but in order to explain you in a better way that's why i have done all the properties here and you can assume that category is a table in our database with all these columns that's it so now model is done the next step whenever you will create your models you will have to register these models in in your context clause so we have this data folder over here we have context and over here i will register this prop db set category and bring the namespace core dot models and over here we will write always write plurals plural name will be the name of our table in the database and singular name will be the name of our model in the uh, like in our context context that's it so we have created this we have created our model class here and after that we have set up this model class within this db set and the next step is to create our database so how to create our database so we will go to tools and again later on we will set up an automatic mechanism it will uh, look up any pending migrations and it will automatically create our database but we will do this later on so we'll go to new package manager then package manager console and every time you will 
make changes in your context you will have to create migrations okay so i'm going to create add migration and i'm i will give this is the name of our migration oh sorry this is the name of our command and after that i will write name of my migration initial create okay and i can press enter oops i i'll have to stop this because i have selected pound saving store dot web and we are not supposed to create migration inside our web folder we are supposed to create migration inside our business folder and within this business business folder we have this data folder within this data folder we will create migrations okay so look we'll have to change this project we'll have to set up this migration uh, uh, pound saving store dot business folder and we'll set initial create and we'll specify an output directory is data slash migrations and press enter okay so we need this package as well we can copy this your startup project web doesn't reference the package is required for entity from okay so we are going to right click manage new get packages Click this code or design, install it. I accept. Okay, so now we can come here and we can run that command again. So you can see that it, it, it has created migrations and next step is to update database and hit enter. Forget about these things and it's done. So we can come here in our uh, app settings.json so we have this SQL server so we can open it up pounds saving store okay so we are in our uh, database management system so you can see we our database is created successfully pound saving store and if we expand the table section you can see we have this is migrations history table which will contain all the history of your migrations and over here we have uh, our categories table so if you right click design and you can see our category table is uh, created successfully and you can see it has done something like envoy or max max and some some things we will deal with these things later on how to modify this and you are not supposed to make any change here because we are using code first and being a developer you should know when you are using code first approach you should do all the changes in your models okay in your context not here in the sql server so we will not change anything here it was just to show you your table is created successfully and that's it this is how you can create migrations and create your database within entity framework core in the next video we will discuss the concept of base entities where do we need base entities and how we will create base base entity which will be very helpful in our project so i'll see you in the next video see you bye